Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited that you're here. If you don't know, my name is Tangerine. I'm the CEO of Tactical Tangerine Defense. And today, today guys, we're comparing two different Cerakote paint jobs on some rifles. If that's something that you're interested in, make sure you stay tuned. Cerakote paint jobs are mostly a luxury item. This is when you've acquired so many firearms and you want to start playing with them. You want to make them more aesthetically pleasing than they are. Then that's when you call in the Cerakote paint technicians or the Cerakote technicians to come in and give you a custom paint job on your firearm. And so this is what we're showcasing today, the artistry of it all. To be able to take something and put it on polymer or steel is incredible and it's a lost art. So the first rifle that we're gonna look at is the Key Arms Key 15. Just a gorgeous firearm in general, but then look at the paint job on it. Cerakote paint job is daisies and butterflies for a client's wife. Gorgeous, gorgeous, look at that. It says Prodigy Poet on it. It's gorgeous. And they, they even did the scope as well. Look, they Cerakote painted the scope. So look how gorgeous that is, right? So this is Key Arms, Key 15, Magpul Pistol Grip, Magpul Buttstock, Crossfire Scope, 300 Blackout is the ammo that it takes. Isn't this absolutely gorgeous? Look at them. Absolutely incredible. That crossfire scope, red dot is everything. I love that. And so what they did was they put butterflies and daisies on it. It's yellow, some gold, some glitter. It's really nice, <laughs> really nice. So this is 300 Blackout. Absolutely love this. Love this for um, definitely just art, see, creative, that type of vibe. All right, so that's the first one. All right. We're going to compare it to this Diamondback Firearms. Look at this. Look at this. Magpul pistol grip, Magpul buttstock. Put the forward handle on here like so. Nice forward handle here. EOTech scope. Look at that. Nice. Five, five, six. Look at that paint job. A proper EO tactician knows how to create artistry that does not affect the functionality of the firearm. And that's what's most important. These are still fully functional firearms that work how they're supposed to, how they're intended with the right ammo. So I just want you guys to compare those. Tell me which one you liked in the, in the comments below. Did you like the girly one with the daisies and the butterflies or did you like the diamondback snake? Which one did you like the most? EOTech scope, cross, crossfire scope, which one did you choose? T which and why? Tell me in the comments below. As always, it's such a pleasure. I love you guys so much. I thank you for making it this far in the video. If you would, if you could please like, comment, share, subscribe, stay, and turn on those notification bells. That'll let me know. That'll let you know when I post another video. I'm so excited to be here with you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And I will see you next time on Tactical Sandrine Defense.